Have you ever heard of Stendhal syndrome? It's a fascinating psychological phenomenon that was first described in 1817 by a French author named Stendhal. During a trip to Florence, he was so profoundly affected by the beauty of Renaissance art that he felt faint and experienced a rapid heartbeat. This overwhelming emotional response to art was so unique and powerful that it came to be known by his name. However, it wasn't until nearly two centuries later in 1989 that this condition was officially recognized. The credit for this goes to an Italian psychiatrist named Graziella Magarini, who took a keen interest in this unusual condition. Drawing from Stendhal's vivid descriptions, she named the condition after him. So, the Stendhal syndrome, named after a French author, was officially recognized in Italy, almost two centuries after its first documented experience. But what exactly is Stendhal syndrome, and how does it affect individuals? Named after the 19th century French author who first described it, Stendhal syndrome is a unique condition where an individual experiences extreme emotional and physical responses when exposed to works of art. These reactions can range from feelings of anxiety and disorientation to more severe symptoms such as hallucinations. The triggers? Typically, they tend to be art pieces that are exceptionally beautiful or a significant concentration of art in a single place. It's like the brain's way of saying, this is too beautiful, I can't handle it. And who's most likely to experience this? Well, it's more common among individuals with a heightened sensitivity to art those who are deeply moved by the beauty and intricacy of artistic expressions. In essence, Stendhal syndrome is the overwhelming impact of art on our senses and emotions. It reminds us of the profound power that art holds capable of moving us to the very core. Now that we know what Stendhal syndrome is, what can be done about it and what are some interesting facts? Let's delve into the treatment options first. When Stendhal syndrome strikes, the immediate solution often involves distancing the individual from the triggering artwork. Therapeutic techniques such as mindfulness and grounding exercises can also help manage the overwhelming emotions. In severe cases, medication might be required to alleviate the symptoms. Now on to some fascinating facts about Stendhal syndrome. Did you know that the city of Florence in Italy reports the highest number of cases each year? It seems that the city's rich artistic heritage has a profound effect on certain visitors. Yet despite this, Stendhal syndrome is not officially recognized as a disorder in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders 5th edition, also known as the DSM-5. Stendhal syndrome, a testament to the profound impact of art, continues to intrigue and baffle the scientific community. Don't miss any of our history topics. Subscribe to our channel today for more stories to hear.